Here's the uh, helmet collection. Some of them I posted on eBay. Paratrooper helmets. And the World War One helmets. Here's a World War One pickle lob. So, Prussian. All the details are there. Nothing's busted off of it. You can see the it's leather, it's uh, grazing. It's a nice helmet. Right there you can see the wear. And a uh, little separation right there. This one says R28, might be Regiment 28. What that insignia is, I don't know. And uh, visor looks pretty good. And that plate there, that's pretty shiny. The only issue with this helmet is it's got four holes, like where there should just be two. So maybe somebody swapped out the front plate, I don't know. But that's how I got it. It's a very nice helmet. It's a small size, maybe a 55. Very small. Okay. Here's the next helmet. M16, M18, don't know. Nice original hot gray or green paint. This has got these kind of attachments for the uh, chin strap. And I couldn't see any numbers on it. Nice helmet. Looks like there was some sort of writing right there, but it's very hard to see. I haven't monkeyed with any of these. Here's the next one. It's a darker color. A darker green. It's got that style of Frankenstein bolt, hole for a rivet, hole for a rivet. This one's got almost like somebody added it post-war, but I don't know. These different uh, chin straps. I'm not sure what these. They could be post-war. I don't know. Maybe they're World War II. You can see that how that sits. This one too. No, no numbers that I could find. But uh, looks to be also a medium large helmet like the first one there. Real nice helmet. And on this guy here, it's got some rust on it. It's, it's got that style rivet on the side. It's got that style of Frankenstein bolt. Nice helmet. Maybe it was used in World War II. But here's a hole. It almost looks like it's drilled. It's not a rust hole in the top. Um, I'd seen a period picture where somebody was in World War I was hitting these with a, uh, a pickaxe. If I find that photo, I'll post it. But uh, for whatever reason, there's a hole there. And it's got this style of helmet liner or helmet chin strap. Some sort of white decal. I don't know what that is. Again, no uh, no numbers I could see. It's got some mild rust. And it's, uh, it's an as-is original as well. So, nice helmet. 
see that one that first one's got that different Frankenstein bolt and the second one's like that third one is like that and these are the paratrooper helmets this first one is um, it's got some of the paratrooper uh, lug lugs in it still it's got pitting this this one uh, I had to media blast it and paint it because it was it was rusted there was no original paint left but you can see those spanner bolts on there and this one's from uh, Monte Cassino epic battle at Monte Cassino and uh, I didn't see any numbers on this one either yeah. but it's a hundred percent original not one of those Chinese fakes but, uh, great helmet and the difference between the fakes and the real ones are the the fakes are just slightly lighter and this is uh, is a nice helmet this one is from Con C A E N uh, battle battle right after Normandy P Day and it's got the spanner bolts as far as I know those are original to it somebody who I got this from uh, used automotive uh, putty or something on it to make it look more acceptable I never messed with this one this is how I got it but uh, I suspect he probably dug it out of the ground. That's a neat helmet. Who knows? That must have been part of a big explosion. He had that kind of cracking in it. And this helmet is from Carrington near Con. This is uh, lots of pitting bullet holes, shrapnel holes, shrapnel holes, bullet holes. It's a, it's a rough helmet, but it's a, it's the real deal also. This one, no spanner bolts. It's a, this is, this is most likely ground dug too. So you can look that up here in it's right after D-Day. That's the back, that's the front. That's an amazing helmet, isn't it? Yeah, this one is from Demyangst, which is near St. Petersburg, Leningrad. This is probably ground dug as well. It used to be some white on there. And, uh, this one looks like it, it had a liner. Well, I mean, it's got the remains of a liner. It's got all the spanner bolts. And, uh, yeah, most likely dug out of the ground. There's the back. So it's still got some white on it. This is uh, this one. I don't really. I'm not. I mean, probably don't sell this one. This is uh, um, uh, post-war uh, paratrooper helmet used by the German police, SWAT police. GSG9 is what they call this one. But this one, the liner is definitely it doesn't even look like what the original liner looked like. You can see none of the World War II helmets have this kind of perforation. So. This does the, these are great uh, motorcycle helmets. Uh, lots of visibility, and uh, you can tell these are really heavy too. But there's uh, there's no number stamps in them either, and uh, and that's what I got. So there's the helmet collection. So if you uh, saw the helmets on eBay, here they are. 
um, my contact information's in the uh, in the description. So don't leave a comment. Just uh, send me an email. And there they are. We'll see you on the next YouTube.